On Italy's Ligurian coast, a so-called smart bay is playing an important role in monitoring the effects of climate change. Marine biologists and environmentalists there are worried that the Mediterranean Sea is warming up and becoming more acidic. This would adversely affect the habitats of many native species and lead to more violent changes in weather, like more frequent tornadoes. That's where the Santa Teresa Smart Bay comes in, Italy's first underwater living lab. Scientists are watching aquatic invertebrate animals known as biozones and other organisms that live in the bay and using them as live sensors. Chiara Lombardi is a scientist from the Italian National Agency for New Technologies, Energy and Sustainable Economic Development Department working on the project. What we are doing is a monitoring of the carbonate chemistry of the water as well as physical properties and what we have been observing is uh, the climate changes occurring in the Mediterranean Sea. In the Mediterranean Sea we are having like heat wave events for example which has an up and peak of temperature in the Mediterranean uh, and we are monitoring a pH so which is related to ocean acidification and uh, the oxygen level which is related to epoxia which is causing lots of damages around the Mediterranean ecosystem including also aquaculture. Scientists like Lombardy are monitoring how the farm of organisms living in the bay use the carbonates in the water to grow their shells. Due to the rise of the acidity in the water, linked to pollution and high temperatures, scientists can assess how the growth of animals has slowed. The bay can collect data on extreme weather events happening in other countries too, including Greece, Spain and France. But experts like INEA researcher and ocean expert Franco Rezzaghetti fear that the med is reflective of changes around the world. The Mediterranean Sea has basically become a hotspot of what is happening globally in the world's oceans. This is a bit worrying, not only from the point of view of changes in the living species that now find totally different living conditions, but also because these conditions lead to extreme and violent atmospheric events. Si possono verificare fenomeni di intensità molto marcata, violenta. The problem could be that in the long term the Mediterranean could completely change its characteristics. Rezzaghetti says that while data gathering is improving, researchers still don't know why things are changing or how to stop it. Right now, the MED represents 0.7% of the global ocean surface. There is very little swell and it only receives a small amount of nutrients due to the low flow of rivers that reach it. It also sees a huge amount of overfishing and pollution. Lombardy hopes to eventually develop the Smart Bay by working with local fishermen and the tourist industry in an effort to make their work more sustainable.